Hello everyone, welcome back to Pause from Place Hand of Fate 2. Alright, starting on the Temperance quest again with a modified deck, more food gain, uh, less newer cards. And we'll see how it goes here. Because while having no food was giving us some advantages, it was definitely not helping. Wow, this first map is dramatically bigger than last time, and I don't know understand why. That is because the game is no longer ruled by a Alright, wetlands ambush. This should give us food. I believe it does at least. Assuming we don't just outright die somehow. Don't let them hit me! Oh, that one's already dead. I also have the uh, the healing spirits with me this time as well. So if I do start running out of food, I can heal myself a little better. In case we don't find the uh, lion's brew, whatever it's called. Good start. Didn't even break my shield there. All right, this should give food or uh, or gold. I think it's food though. Fame. Eh, two food isn't great, but it's something. Waterfall of Youth. This will also give us food. You can see a theme in the cards I've picked here. Oh shoot, I don't know which one this is. This one. All right. We'll also get the potion of youth, which will help a bit. Buy food. Compared to the Departed. Now, if we can win one of these, I think we get food for it. This is not going to do it, though. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty damn good roll, really. But either way, this will give me some money so I can use it for other things. This is also not going to make it. But, hey, we get um, 27 gold here. Your memory seemed filled with conflict and chaos. Hearts, pies, and exotic lies. I don't entirely remember this one. Uh, once we buy pies, signs on a. Pr oh dear, some of those are very high priced. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Uh, what else are we gonna do with the gold, right? It costs like 24 gold for three food. Ugh, this is awful, but yeah, we'll pay for it. This is five food. Moonlit journey. Uh, no, I think we should explore. We need equipment. In case you're wondering whether Upper I plague. This will um. These purges of the yeah. corrupt. Indeed, I do. How could I not? be a fight against the corrupted I believe we'll get stuff out of actually I think I did this wrong I think if we declined we would fight them and then they would give us food I think I I picked the wrong thing there but either way we'll get something out of this Right, that's two down. We just got this thing left. No problem. Yeah, 10 gold. Yeah, I think if... Oh, wow. 40 gold. I think if we decline there, we get food. That was kind of a mistake. St. Talon's dead. Good. Uh, good harvest. 
I wonder if these are the, always the same blessings. Good health. Nope, this is definitely a different one. Alright, 75 gold on a single map to gain five, 50 max life. Yeah, this is definitely a... Uh, they are somewhat random. One drunken night. Alright, this is one of the, the trap rooms, but it should have food and gold in it. Again, the theme here is I'm basically trying to amass as much uh, resources as possible. This one's a little dangerous, but hopefully it'll pay out. Alright, I do see... I only see one food chest, actually, which is a little bit of a bummer. That's kind of my main reason for taking this, but... In fact, I probably won't even go for most of the... Uh, can we fall off of this? No, I don't think so. I might not even go for most of the gold. We'll just get the food and get out. Only two food. Yeah, I'm not gonna push my luck. I figure I'm probably just more likely to take damage if I'm wandering about. So I just got the food and get out of there. Alright, so those extra spaces didn't really turn out particularly well, but... Could have been worse. Alright, let's continue forward. No threats. Another bigger map. I wonder what... Um, what causes that? Hungry peasants. Uh, we will feed them. I'm assuming if we claim we have no food, they you immediately know better. To involve yourself in northern affairs. Imagine what you could have achieved if you devoted yourself to study. So this is the fabled beast. Ursus, a young warrior from the north, proposes a hunting contest. This farmer kindly saved my boy instead of handing him to the empire. I will rid the land of the boars, destroying his crops and thanks. Who will be a worthy opponent? You step forward to accept the challenge. The farmer warns, not only have they been wreaking havoc on my fields, a huge white beast ate one of my lambs. Act off one of his tusks, but he still roams. You and Ursa shake hands before heading into the fields, paying heed to the gnarly grunts echoing in the distance. Ooh. Okay. I have no idea. Well, there's the success. Find a pair of giant hogs locking tusks. They're too busy fighting for dominance to notice you enter their territory. You slay the biggest of the two, the other flees, leaving a trail of blood behind. Huh. Across the field, a boar knocks Ursus to the ground. The dealer reduces the dice gamma target by three. Continue hunting until the sun begins to set, then haul your kills back to the farmhouse. Ursus paces in front of a pile of dead beasts that the farmer tallied your kills. Twelve is, is not unobtainable. <laughs> wow. Actually, almost the worst roll I possibly could have gotten there. Amazing. <laughs> Ursus has you beat by two beasts. Ursus is the winner. Grateful to you both, my fields will be safe once more, says the farmer, embracing his precious flock of sheep. Well, that's a bummer. Alright, Thomas the Ogre. We know what to do with this one. We'll accept. But then we will listen to stories. Ask him to return the food to fight. Now we'll play games. Let's start with the, uh... Yeah, this one's actually super easy. I was gonna feel real bad if I suddenly missed the gold Nicely on that, but yeah, that one's really easy. As you travel, you will find hey, the Holy Maze. And infamy follow you. Not yet, however. Play cards. Probably gonna fail this one. Nope, got it. What happens if we get all three? Um, Holy Purification or the Harvest Blade? We'll take the Harvest Blade. And then play a dice game. We got it. Wow, we actually did get all three. A win here sets the toe. Achievement unlocked oh, Gamester. And we got fame for that, so now we can actually use the Harvest Blade. You think me a fool, you must be cheating. Uh-oh. Get out, you scoundrel, and tell those idiot friends of yours that if I see anyone in my forest again, I might have to have you all for dinner, literally. Oh dear. Sorry, Thomas. I'm just too good. <laughs> um... I kind of want to know what happens if we say we have no food, but it's only three food to, to pacify them, so... 
the wretched. Ah, uh, he took three of my food. Here we see yet another wheel, each different, yet each bearing. All right, we got it back. Similarities. Catch the thief with his hand in your supplies and quickly decision. snatch the bounty back. Easily hoist your attacker off their feet. They're no common bandit. You're face to face with a dirty, sickly child. Ah. Please, he stammers. They can't feed us at home. We have to take what we can just to survive. You could offer or give nothing. What happens if we offer? Taking pity on the child, you give him some of your supplies. One food for two fame. Bless you, mercenary, for your good heart, he exclaims, and runs off happily with his prize. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, and we got a blessing. After all your rerolls on a dice game, reroll your lowest dice. Well, that would have been good. Hungry peasants again. Uh... <sighs> let's say we... Let's find... Oh boy, try to push your way through. Ooh. Oh my! We must get a pain for each one. Holy crap! Oh my god! Nope, it's definitely more than- Really? That's just gonna kill me? What the hell? Combat solved so little. It has ended this, however. How would I know that? That was like eight cards. I'm a little salty about that one because there's absolutely no way I possibly could have known that that was going to give me eight pain cards. I guess we'll just try it. That was such a good run too. So I guess you just have to feed them. Or... Yeah, I guess you just run yourself out of food. Because if you kill them, then you're upping that counter, and if you try to leave, then they just At murder you. Some are keeping the old magic alive, for better or worse. Hungry peasants. Oh, here we go. That's incredible. Wretched. Right, we should be able to get this. There we go. Get our food back. Give them one food. After six combats against thieves, draw four gain cards, then discard this card. Well, that's probably not going to happen. Here's the departed. All right. Is your reward, at least in potential. Well, that's not happening. <laughs> Wow, terrible roll. But we'll get some money out of it, so. Wow! Awful, awful luck. Uh, you know, you know what? Hold on. We save more than... Yeah, we'll buy the mask and then we'll buy one food. We're gonna need more fame, though. St. Talus Day, okay. Go for the good harvest. Maybe the Indomitable Will is always... That's the one we've gotten every time. Good health? I'm a spirit. We'll get that, but we would need to heal to make use of it. Alright, Tarts, Pies, and Exotic Lives. We have no money. Um... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I think it's just gonna fail. Once we try to pay, yeah. Bummer. <laughs> I mean, general store is great, but can't do anything with it. 
You'll notice that my carriage does right. not stop uh, for every we'll distressed traveler along the way. Wow, we actually rolled it. Token of gratitude. 30 gold is nice, but I would prefer food. There we go, there's five food. We get two fame. Alright, Thomas the Ogre. Here we go again. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, I guess we can... We don't have to listen to the stories. We'll accept. We'll play the games. He's probably going to get mad at me for cheating, but... Time to tough, Thomas. Almost missed the gold on that one. Sacrificial blades. We need a lot more. We need fame. Um, like cards. Fortunately, we don't have the Mask of Holy Fortunes equipped yet. That's a failure. Well, we get the dice right away. Gambler's Jewels plus two dice. Armor of Gluttony. Yes, again, we need more fame, though. And we can continue here. Two food. We have no food. Well, it's starvation time. Gasping with each step. Yep, they've got, got nothing. Survive. Find food if you can. We'll heal soon. Hungry peasants again. Sorry, folks. We got nothing. Waterfall of Youth. Here we go. We get food out of this even if we fail, so. But I succeeded. So, Potion of Youth will be extremely useful, and we'll get uh, only two food, huh? We need. I know it seems silly to waste food like this, but we need fame. Badly. Pauper Plague. We're gonna refuse to kill the paupers. Yeah. Um. Guess we could change weapons? I, I don't feel like... No, we're gonna stick with this. I feel like we don't get enough of an advantage for heavy weapons. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm gonna do like two damage a piece on these swings and I'll regret it, but... This will give me some food at least. We don't fight in this arena very often. Yeah, I guess we are doing significantly less damage than I was thinking, but... Oh, trying to hit my special there. Alright, Mal, I need that shield, buddy. not explode? And it didn't look like it did any damage. Maybe it only does damage to the attacker. I thought it did damage to everyone around. Alright, I stand corrected about the light weapon. The, the minus three reduction per swing is actually a lot. Especially against these damn jerks that block all the time.
There we go. Alright, that was significantly harder than I expected it to be. Finding those phalanxes is brutal. To fame and some food. A lot of food, actually. Continue. No skeletons. Potion of youth heals us up. Let's keep going. Hunting Fabled beast. Okay, here we go. Understand, but for sport. Oh, huge failure. That's really bad. It was max life. Raises the dice target game by two. Oh, we're screwed. Yeah, 17? That's almost impossible. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be there. I mean, we have to roll sixes. Nah. Yep, that's unfortunate. She smells death upon Layer of the necromancer. Death. Promised, but not delivered. Oh, this Death is the boss. Time has been delayed. Okay. The sky is unnaturally dark as you approach the ruined graveyard. A float figure stands amid the crumbling tombstone. Despite your stealthy approach, it turns to watch your arrival. The living have no place here, she rasps, breathing, breath leaving her body with some effort. But you will f make fine source material for another minion. She raises her staff, the undead rise from the ground. Guess we're doing this. Um, I think some of these skeletons are shielded, which is going to be a problem. Now, we've fought a necromancer before. We fought her... We fought one of them when we were dealing with Mal's stuff. So we know how to do this fight. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> Countess Athanasia. Yeah, we can do this. Ah, oh, damn it. That was... A very poor decision on my part. We do full damage against skeletons, though, so it's definitely a plus. The shielded one is going to be the most trouble. We want to keep up on the skeletons, um, because she's going to res more every time we get her down a bit. Oh, actually, I think this one is resing them, like she's casting a res spell during combat, as opposed to only during the, uh, the intermission phases. Right now, we should kill the rest, I think. It's a little silly, but it's getting the job done. Alright, when she shields, we'll clear out the rest. Yeah, we got this. But she's regenerating a little bit while she's in there. Not enough, though. Peace out, Necromancer. Did we just turn this into a gold? I'd be very surprised if we did. I feel like there's another piece to the puzzle there, though. Smoking ash is all that remains of the Necromancer as you inspect the contents of the crypts. There you find letters written and signed with the Emperor's seal, each one calling for your death. What have you done to earn the Emperor's wrath? As if the answer to the voice as if in answer the voice of the hermit rings in your ears. It is not what you have done, but what you are yet to do. A powerful force presses against you, and every move takes you closer to the end of the game. You have few friends now. Huh. This is what we seek to eradicate. These creeping horrors that stretch across our land. Killing the Necromancer, get the Wretched. Thomas the Ogre, ah, that's a good card to have. And Mystery Chest. 
We also get Thunair's Talons, Thorn Shell, Ring of Defense, and we did get the gold. We didn't kill any peasants, so yeah, avoiding any unnecessary villager deaths. Bjorn's Traps. Huh. Nice. Boy, I, when I started this episode, after that first bit there, I really thought I was going to be in trouble. But we managed to do it. Alright, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, and then whatever else is uh, yet to unlock here. Team next time, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did click like, it helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.